into your amateur career and then not make smart moves early in your professional career and have to fight yourself out of a hole. Yep. So there's yep. no sense in rushing. I think both these guys are doing the right things by making sure they're fully prepared and developed fighters going into their professional careers. Yeah, the worst thing you can do is jump into pro and go 0-2. All right, both fighters in the cage. Let's send it up for the official introductions. All right, fight fans, here we go. Now in the cage, three rounds of mixed martial arts for the California State Featherweight title. This bout is sponsored in part by Augie's Auto Detailing. Anytime, anywhere, along with Gone Three Fight Lifestyles. Once again, our referee in charge of this bout, Michael Bell. And now, introducing to you first, fighting out of the red corner, he is wearing black trunks trimmed in white. He is training out of Sit Yadong by way of Fond du Lac, Wisconsin. He weighed 146 pounds, his record five wins, one loss with three wins. Coming by way of stoppage, ladies and gentlemen, introducing Johnny Yuto Ferris. A lot of people in the house for Johnny Utah. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the blue corner. He is wearing black trunks to rimmed in red. He is training out of UWF USA. He weighed in 145 pounds. He brings to the cage a record eight wins, three losses with four wins coming by way of stoppage. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the California State Featherweight Champion, Johnny the Sleeper Robles. Once again, our referee in charge, Michael Bell, to give final instructions. All right, gentlemen, you got your instructions backstage. Defend yourself at all times, obey my commands at all times. If you would touch once, do it now. Nice, As you touch said, the, <laughs> nice touch of the gloves, and this featherweight state title ready to go. Good look at the tail of the tape here. Both fighters, 25 and 22 years of age, respectively, weighing in below the 145 pound limit. I have been waiting for this fight since I heard it was on the docket. This should be a hell of a scrap. I'm excited, both fighters look very ready for this fight. Immediately getting in and getting after, that's what I like to see. Robles' hands look real sharp, he landed a couple hooks early. Ferris looking to get this thing to the ground. Nice knee from Johnny Utah as he tries to get a hold of Johnny Robles who puts together a nice combination on the inside. Absolutely, both these guys are coming to fist fight, and I enjoy seeing guys getting in and getting after it and getting gritty. Frenetic pace from the opening bell here. There's a lot on the line for this fight, so I'm not surprised that both fighters are getting in and getting after it. Nice knee to the midsection from Robles. As they, oh, beautiful sit-down takedown. Wow, lateral drop from Robles, beautifully done. Gets behind him, another throw. Let's see if he's able to capitalize on the position. That's Johnny the Utah problem. able to get top position here, though. With suplexes like that, it's hard to stick the guy. Once, you know, he bounces up off the mat and he came up on top position. And a lot of energy gets expended when you try and pick a guy up and throw him like that. Yep. Robles looking to, or Ferris looking to take the back of Robles here, but. Oh, almost hit, almost need him in the head. Robles acknowledges. That's a tough thing in transition, because we train in all our training, we're throwing knees and elbows to the head. So sometimes that happens as amateurs. That was a knee to the head right there. You saw it again. Michael Bell gonna warn both fighters. And both these guys train with high level pros as well, so I'm not surprised to accidentally see some knees go a little bit high. Robles starting to get busy with his legs and his hands here. Neither guy looks scared though. Both guys have unloaded a little bit. Both guys seem to be comfortable with what the other guy's throwing and okay to be in that position to throw back. Yeah, both fighters look very comfortable, especially Robles. They're trading some body kicks there. Oh, a beautiful left hook from Robles. Now he eats a straight right from Ferris. They're almost going tip for tat train. All right, you want to come in, pop, pop, pop. All right, my turn, pop, pop, pop. Right, almost Muay Thai style. Not a lot of setting up here. Both, both fighters choosing to pick their shots. Instead of setting them up, heavy hands here. Another nice hook by Robles. Yeah, he's he's landed a, several hooks so far in this round that have landed very nice. He has a very nice lead left hook. Looking to parlay this leg into a takedown here. 
This could win him the round. It's been a very close round. There's 30 seconds left. If he's able to secure a takedown here, this could win him the round. Ferris, difficult to get to the ground, though. Does a nice job of spinning him around. And same goes for Ferris here. Takedown could potentially win him the round. This has been a very close first round of, of even exchanges. I would hate to be a judge here. Was that another knee to the head? My goodness. Oh, is he taking a point? It looks uh, like he might be. If he takes a point, it's gonna be, that's gonna really hurt. Because you can already tell this is gonna be a close fight. It looks like, looks like a stern warning. warning. I think that's the right move here. You know, it didn't seem like a blatantly um, bad knee. And some of these transitions, you know, these guys are going hard. This is a championship fight. My if it didn't do a ton of damage, I could see him not taking a point. 16 seconds left in the opening round. It's been a back and forth contest so far. Some errant knees prompting a warning from referee Mike Bell. Mike Bell laying down the law as a true veteran. Been around a long time. I think whoever wins this next 15 seconds is going to win this round. It's been so close. Ferris leading that lead left hand out. A little long here. Robles able to time off it, landing a nice body kick and a right hand that tested the chin of Ferris as time expires in the opening round. Great first round action in this California State featherweight title fight. It's absolutely. Uh, I'm glad I'm watching this and not judging this because I don't know who I would give that first round to. That was a very close first round. Both guys came out, stood their ground, threw some stuff, absorbed some stuff. Not really a decisive winner there. Yeah, that's a razor thin round. I like the dynamic between the two fighters striking. You can see Robles trying to land that lead left hook while Ferris is coming down the middle with that straight right. And both of them have landed probably an equal number of shots. Yeah, it's gotta be a tough round. That's why I was saying a takedown here might secure it, but then they switch control who had who on the cage, you know, and the last 16 seconds were very even. Yeah, I think either, I think both fighters are finding out that the either is a lot harder to take down than they initially thought. That's why these two guys are fighting for the belt. These guys are both killers. And that's why we're seeing such an even fight. Great matchmaking here at Sparstar, as always. This is a fight that could be won in the corners here. We'll see if strategies change, how both these fighters react to the first round. Neither one able to establish themselves as the clear leader. Excellent first round action. Let's hope it translates into a second round war. Absolutely, I'd like to see both guys threatening a little bit more of the takedowns. Both guys just seem content standing in front and throwing. But if you threaten a takedown, it might open up a lot more of your ability to throw hands. Robles putting together a nice combination after landing with the head kick, now looking for the takedown. Flirted with the knee tap, back upstairs now. They closed round one going to war and they got right back at it in round two. Picked up right where they left off. Robles' hands just seem to be a little sharper tonight than Ferris. Ferris is gonna have to get dirty and get this fight down to the ground. Ferris controlling the clinch here, but unable to do anything with it as Robles fights off the cage. Let's see if we see another throw here from Robles. I would have said that was the highlight from round one was that throw from Robles. And this is a, a grueling style here. Clinching like this against the cage is exhausting. And these Dub guys have spent a lot of time in this position. Ferris Johnny Ferris has double underhooks. Let's see what he can do with that. Oh, unfortunately unable to capitalize. A little dirty boxing on the inside now. Lays in that leg, beautiful takedown from Ferris, but he ends up coming out the back door, looking to stack here. Oh, he's looking for a knee bar momentarily. Gave up his back, though. Johnny Ferris taking the back See of Johnny Robles here. Oh, he couldn't get Dumps that second him. hook. Got too high on the back. Robles able to shuck himself free. And now it's Ferris who's mounted up against the cage. Ferris cannot accept his position. He's got to start backing up and wall walking, getting up as fast as he can, just like that. Beautiful job from Ferris. Absolutely. Wasted no time getting up out of there. Realized he was in a real bad spot. Ferris in on a single leg, looking to parlay this into another takedown, but Robles defending well. He's got his hands almost locked, had to abandon. Using a Kimura counter was Robles. Robles slips on the canvas. Ferris oh, takes triangle. top position, oh, but falls no. right into the triangle. Ooh, good job by Ferris keeping his posture. He was in danger zone there for a minute. He was. It was a good thing he postured up out of there because he could have been in the worst. Wow, great transition. Let's see if Johnny Ferris is able to get the body triangle and retain top. He's going to end up in the bottom close guard. Very nice job from Robles to spin out of that. Maybe look for an arm lock here. He's got the arm almost across his midsection. Ferris has his legs elevated. Robles going to have to keep his wits about him here. The tight guard of Johnny Utah. 
There's that arm lock attempt. Robles is hip to it, but he might fall into a triangle. Back to that triangle, Johnny Ferris found himself in a lot in his last fight. Let's see if he's learned anything, any tricks to finish this triangle. He's, if he's able to cinch this down and close it up. If he can tie clinch behind the head, now he's lost the triangle. He might have the, the arm, arm bar. Though. And that's deep. He's oh, he's taken, that's it. That, wow. Johnny Ferris snatching victory from the jaws of defeat. Tremendous second round arm bar finish. And the champion retains his belt here at Spar Star MMA. We saw Johnny Ferris a lot in that position in his last fight, and obviously he's drilled that and learned some stuff, and he's able to finish the fight within 30 seconds of landing that triangle guard. Yeah, Johnny Ferris proving to have a real slick close guard. We saw it in the last fight. He's able to get the finish here. Beautiful transition from that triangle. Robles thought he shucked him off, but he left his arm in. Ended up getting caught with no escape. Absolutely, it's always awesome to watch these amateurs evolve and develop. And just three months ago, we saw Johnny Ferris stuck in this with a guy in his triangle for five or six minutes. And tonight we saw him finish it within 15 seconds. Great development by Johnny Ferris. That's the reason he's the champion. Man, these guys are, I would hate to be a judge because that second round was very close as well. Yeah. Just when Johnny Robles started to come to life, Johnny Ferris able to secure the triangle transition into the arm lock and finish the fight. And that was a rather quick tap, an indication of how deep that arm lock was. Yeah, no those... way out. Ladies and gentlemen, now in the cage to award the winner with their belt. Please give it up for the man that makes this all happen, our promoter, Tony T-Bone Stick Padilla. Ladies and gentlemen, at two minutes, 44 seconds of round number two, referee in charge, Michael Bell, stops the contest due to a tap out from an arm bar. Our winner, the new California State featherweight champion, Johnny Utah It's that big smile on Johnny's face. He definitely earned that belt tonight with that performance. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, from theclinchreport.com, Jonathan King. I am here with your champion. Put your hands together one more time for Johnny Robles. Hell of a fight. Hell of a fight. But tonight, that belt and the night belongs to you. Back and forth, first round. It continued in the second round, but you were able to find that triangle. And this time, you were able to transition it into the finish. What's going through your mind? Uh, well, first off, give it up for Johnny Robles. He's a tough, tough opponent. He's a great fighter. Uh, I'm just grateful that he, was, he took this fight and he accepted the challenge. Uh, so give it up for Johnny. Um, yeah, right now I'm just feeling freaking fantastic. <laughs> um, I, last time I had that same triangle, um, or I had a triangle, I couldn't get the finish, but this time I was working on it. I was able to get the, uh, thanks to my coach, Fernando. Uh, thanks to all my whole, my whole team at Save Your Tom. Uh, thank you for everyone at Street Sports that was letting me roll. Muscle Farm was letting me train there a little bit. Uh, other than that, I'm just happy for this. Now I think I gotta ask you, I speak for everyone in the crowd. What's next for you? You're the California, defending California state champion. What's next? I don't know what's next, but follow me on Instagram, johnny.ferris, and stay tuned to find out what's next. All right, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together one more time for the reigning California featherweight champion, Johnny Utah, Johnny Ferris. Johnny Ferris coming away with that belt. He has a fan in me, looking forward to seeing him fight the next one. Absolutely, he always brings, brings the war. Same with all the Sika Dong guys. There's definitely a handful of camps here in Southern California that I love watching any of their guys fight. And Johnny Ferris and Team Sika Dong is definitely in that category.